Calibration of air blast sprayers for orchards. Part 1. Selecting and changing nozzles. This version is also available in metric as well as US standard figures. Warning. If there is any possibility of contact with pesticides, proper personal protective clothing and equipment should be worn. Nozzle selection from the catalogue. We wish to apply 50 gallons per acre. We have an air blast sprayer with five nozzles each side. A comfortable forward speed is three and a half mile an hour and our tree rows are 14 feet apart. Using the following formula gallons per minute is gallons per acre times miles per hour times row width in feet divide by 495. So we take 50 gallons per acre times 3.5 miles an hour times 14 feet divide by 495 equals 4.95. Divide by 2 to set the nozzles per side equals 2.47 per side. Divide by 5 that gives us 0.49 gallons per minute per nozzle. Using a hollow cone table read along the pressure row at the top of the table read down the column for 150 psi until you see 0 0.50 gallons per minute so here's the chart look down the column at 150 psi until you see 0 0.50 gallons per minute this is shown in the red box Then look across to the left hand columns. The first column shows a D2 nozzle tip next to a DC46 whirl plate. These are the nozzles and whirl plates that you'll need to give 0 0.50 of a gallon per minute per nozzle. A better alternative would be to use a one piece hollow cone nozzle tip. These one-piece tips are easier to fit in the cap, uh, much easier to remove for cleaning, changing tips, etc. To continue with the worked example from above, for a nozzle tip with a flow rate of 0.49 gallons per minute, read along the pressure row at the top of the table for 120 psi, read down the column for 120 psi until you read 0.48 gallons per minute, then look across to the left. Here's the nozzle chart. We look across for 120 psi, look down the column, and there under 120 psi you'll see 0.482. Then look across to the left, you'll see a red ATR one piece nozzle. This is the nozzle that you need to select to give us a flow rate of 0.482 gallons per minute per nozzle changing sprayer nozzles. Undo the brass cap surrounding the nozzle taking care to collect the two pieces the nozzle tip, the swirl plate and behind it the filter. There you see the pieces the brass cap, the nozzle, the whirl plate and then the filter. This nozzle and whirl plate is damaged. Notice the whirl plate is broken this would lead to very erratic spraying. A better alternative is the one piece hollow cone nozzle and you can see that in this picture the yellow one piece hollow cone nozzle. To insert the one piece nozzle put it inside the brass cap then screw the brass cap down. Remember the filter should be in first. Then tighten it with a wrench. One piece color coded plastic body with ceramic tip nozzles offer the following advantages. They are easy to remove and replace. They are more rugged and resistant to over tightening damage. 
and easy to identify that all the nozzles are the same. Continue with part two, found on the video Calibration of Air Blast Sprayers for Orchards Measuring Liquid Flow. The following websites will be of interest to you. They're from nozzle manufacturers throughout the USA, pump manufacturers, and all contain pages giving you more details on nozzle selection and how to change nozzles. This video was produced by Andrew Landers and William Lazalier at Cornell University in upstate New York.